Wishing for a Christmas mortgage miracle? Patriot Trading Group wants to make your wish come true. Just enter to win on Family Values Radio website, and you can enjoy having your mortgage paid for a year. That's right. It's the Christmas Mortgage Miracle Contest, where if you win, you'll have all kinds of extra money for other things, like a vacation, new clothes, new giant screen TV with whole home audio, whatever else may be on your wish list, because the winner will receive their mortgage or rent payments covered for a year. To enter, go to Family Values Radio 10. 10.com and click on the banner. Enter once each day to increase your chances to win and look for bonus entry opportunities. That's Family Values Radio 1010.com and enter the Christmas Mortgage Miracle Contest sponsored by Patriot Trading Group. See our website for details. Good morning and welcome Patriot Radio News Hour. Happy Thursday. Hey, here's the great news about Thursday. It's one day away from Friday. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group, and our toll-free number, 800-951-0592, the website at allamericangold.com. And uh, yesterday, you know, we kind of did a, a little history of the world for uh, all the new, we've had a just a massive amount of new customers, uh, people that have either uh, found us for the first time, or maybe they've known about us for a long time. Uh, but the uh, the lockdowns and the lack of toilet paper and who knows what else is starting to get a lot more people to wake up. Uh, the mounting piles of debt, the the amount of BS that we've got to believe every day, right? You know, we've got a housing bubble, a stock market bubble, the bond bubble, which is the biggest bubble of them all. Uh, all of them at some point getting ready to explode. I think we're going to get the the triple whammy, right? The triple whammy. We're all three blow up together because that's how we'll get the digital currency. And, and it's okay. Listen, I'm not going to doom and gloom you. Uh-uh. If you've got your gold put away, it's going to be okay. Uh, but yesterday I kind of warned you about certain things. Uh, and I'm going to give you a couple examples because I got – first I got – uh, a customer of ours sent this in with her check. And it was an advertisement from a, I'll call them a competitor, they're really not. Uh, and they've got uh, Donald Trump, right, with a USA hat on and, and in the advertisement and they're, they're advertising all of these uh, different coins, uh, none of them are of a particularly good value. But nonetheless, this is what they were at. Took out full page color, beautiful looking ad. Uh, they were going to be selling some Mint State 70 Silver Eagles with a picture of Donald Trump on it. Yeah, only for $52. So, you know, you, you, can, uh, you can put that away. Now, here's the thing, though. That's, a, that's such a good price that you could only have one of those at that price. I'm sure they'd let you buy more for about 70 bucks, but neither here nor there. She wrote a little note on it to us. Hi, guys. I called these other folks, and instead of trying to uh, sell me what they were advertising, they tried to sell me a one-tenth ounce Platinum Eagle slabbed for $810. That was their the old bait and switch. And, of course, you know, for those of you that don't know, Platinum's not even $900 to the ounce. Uh, but that's what they'll do. Hey, we'll send you, we'll sell you a tenth ounce for uh, almost what a one ounce uh, Platinum coin. But it'll come slabbed for you. So So be careful out there. Uh, if someone's giving you the bait and switch, hang up and try again. Uh, and then we got a call this morning. This one I felt bad about. And, and this happens to a lot of people. Uh, the Internet is a dangerous place. You know, you can find anything on it. We all know that. You can find anything, right? Some of these things you'd, you'd prefer not to find, if you know what I'm saying. But yet there they are. But he bought... 6,000 Canadian maple leaves during the last crash. 6,000 of them. 
you know, and, and when you think about, you know, what I told you guys yesterday, you got to be very leery about the what types of bullion products you're buying and, and who you're buying them from. And, you know, that's over 500 pounds of silver. And now he's trying to sell it. You know, it's so funny. He wants to buy a truck for cash. <laughs> right. And, a, and that's a nice truck. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a, over a hundred grand just for a truck. Um, but he called and said, would we buy it from him? And I said, you know, I'm really not that interested. I got a 1099 you. I said, we don't really sell them. I go send shipping them back. So fortune, which he's like, yeah, I know. Right. You know, and uh, he's like, am I going to have a problem? He goes, I've been calling around and nobody seems to want them. And, and I, and again, stick to what works. U.S. minted materials, you'll never have a problem. I promise you, you won't. Uh, when you get into the, you know, and I get it. The allure is something where, hey, it's just cheap, right? You want to be a cheapskate? You can. Right? All the products that are going to give you a problem when you go to sell them back are all inexpensive or less expensive than other products. I shouldn't say inexpensive because, you know, it's not, it, everything's expensive, but. But you understand what I'm saying. Stick to U.S. minted materials. On the gold side, stick to pre-33. That's just the best way. You can stay private. You can buy them, sell them, trade them with a phone call. It's easy. Silver side, U.S. Silver Eagles, junk silver. It's 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 easy. Uh, but but when you want to go out, you know, I'm sure at the time, I'm sure he saved a dollar an ounce, maybe two. Dollars an ounce buying these Canadian silver coins. You're going to lose all that plus. Not only is he going to get a lesser bid, uh, but then he's going to get a 1099 on top of it. So uh, just be careful out there. That, that just happened uh, this morning. It kind of went with what we talked about yesterday. 800-951-0592. You'll never have a problem selling your gold and silver to us. When you buy U.S. minted materials, period. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Oh, 800-951-0592. I never really thought, would you, you ever think you'd be in an era where governors are telling you to cancel Thanksgiving? They don't have people at your house. So, some, some governors talking about making... Wearing mask mandatory in your home if you have a non-family member over. <laughs> An immediate family. They got to be lit. If they're not from your own household, you got to put a mask on. Uh, the governor of Colorado, you know, you, we, we, we love the color system, don't we? Right? The, the, the one after 9-11 right? The, the terrorist alerts so and we had all the, the different colors. Uh, now we're, we're busting it out here for COVID. Most of the states use a uh, yellow, orange, red, right? The, and, you know, yellow being, hey, everything's, you know, it's there, but it's okay. Orange is like, okay, guys, right? We're getting ready to lock you back down. And, of course, red, that's bad news. I heard uh, Jason was telling me Colorado's governor, uh, he added a new color, purple. <laughs> because Probably because you can't use black. Uh, but purple, which is a complete lockdown. Now, I don't know how that differs from the, the red lockdown, but uh, I think you're going to, again, see more of this play out everywhere. You know, we've, we're right in the midst of the holiday season and, and all these businesses that, that uh, were struggling. And here's the thing. You know how they pulled this off? And I learned this today because I was reading a report and I, and I was curious. Uh, the credit rating agencies like Experian and these people, what's happening is the banks are moving all the people that aren't paying into uh, forbearance. Okay, And what that does, and then they're saying, by doing this, 
Now it shows that all of these people are current, which allows the banks, obviously, number one, not to have to write them down, right? Number two, <laughs> people's credit scores are going up, right? Because the, the credit bureaus are like, oh, they must have caught up. No, they didn't catch up. And again, all of the, the tsunami is coming. Don't you worry. And I know we're all caught up in the the divided election and, and all of those things, but uh, we're still waiting on stimulus. Yesterday, uh, Jamie Dimon came out, the head of J.P. Morgan, uh, crying, right? Because he knows. He knows. He knows his bank. Dude, we have hundreds of thousands, millions of people in quote-unquote forbearance. And now we're shutting down again. Now they're going to be, now it's going to be even worse. And, and we need to bail all these people out. Really what he's saying is, you need to bail out my bank. You need to bail out my bank. I mean, we're, we talked about the largest food bank line in the history of the world happened in Texas uh, over the weekend. Today we got jobless claims. So every Thursday we get these jobless claims, which have been, you know, going down until today. Uh, jobless claims spiked back up. Uh, 742,000 people file for unemployment for the very first time. Now, I want to tell you what, what they're trying to spin to you. They're saying continuing claims fell to 6.37 million. That is a new, fresh, pandemic era low. Hey, that's great news. That, that, that is. But what they don't tell you is, well, why did it fall? Especially claims went up. And the simple answer is, these were the quote-unquote insured unemployment claims. In other words, before COVID, people that would get laid off you could collect anywhere from 26 to 39 weeks, depending on the state, of insured unemployment benefits. Once you've exhausted those benefits, you fall off. And, and that's what's happened here. Is we're seeing about a half a million, four, four to 500,000 people a week are falling off. Uh, when you look at all of the programs, which uh, is the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, okay? So once you fall off from your insured claims, or if you were a contract worker, see, because contract workers, 1099 workers, right, they're not eligible to file for unemployment because the employer doesn't pay the unemployment insurance. So the government created uh, a, a category for, for those people. And they have, there's another 4.3, that actually jumped to 4.38 million. The total receiving benefits of some form of unemployment. Okay, so there's insured, there's the... Uh, the PUA, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, and then they've got the new uh, federal program, $20,320,000 people. So going back to the 6370000 that is the old way we did things. That was 4.3%. So if you take six million and you make it twenty million, right? All of a sudden, we've got an unemployment rate really of somewhere around fourteen percent. And so you start to understand why it is uh, that J.B. Diamond yesterday he was out on TV. I mean, he he really uh, was going at the the elected officials. And again, is it government's job? To bail it out. And of course, in, in this case, you may get an argument from, from me that it is. Because right? they're the ones that forced the shutdown. But here was Jamie Dimon yesterday. 
U.S. politicians are behaving like children. <laughs> Why would that be different than any any other time, right? Isn't that how they always behave? And again, term limits, term limits, term limits. I'll keep saying it. But how different of a country would we have if Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden, all these people weren't up there? Bernie Sanders, right? These guys, they're up there for decades. And, and listen, Mitch McConnell's and all the, the Republicans, we got our, the same thing. It's not like it's unique to the Democrats. They're acting like children by not passing a new stimulus bill. I mean, that could help Americans. Diamond was crying, right? Really what he's saying is, hey, that could help my bank. These people aren't paying their bills, and I, can, I only can do so much quote-unquote accounting. He says Americans' incomes have been wiped out. But yet the government reports say that the savings rate of this country is through. Now it's, fall, it's fallen the last few months, but it's way up there. J.P. Morgan Chase and, and co-chief executive Jamie Dimon said on Wednesday at a New York Times conference, this is childish behavior on the part of our politicians. He said about the impasse between the Democrats and the Republicans. I, again, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I thought they were going to save Christmas. I, I, And again, they already knew. They knew. The, this, the, the new wave of the pandemic. Hey, Thanksgiving and Christmas are all but canceled. Uh, according to uh, whoever does it in the government, they're saying they're expecting uh, Thanksgiving travel. Now, this is by car, okay, not airplane. Airplane, it's even worse, to be down 50%. In other words, they you know, that, that sounds about right. Half the country won't go anywhere. Right? Nope, I'm going to lock myself in. And, and think about Christmas, the same thing. I mean, yesterday, I think we uh, we were at, I don't know if we broke the all-time, we may have broke the all-time record eye for most cases in a day yesterday. It was really close. I know that. The two parties should split the difference, Diamond said, between the amounts they want to devote to corona relief. Just get it done. The issue came up again yesterday as U.S. Senate Democrat leader Chuck Schumer said he and House uh, Representative Speaker Nancy Pelosi that formally invited Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell for bipartisan talk relief legislation. Really? Really? You can't get it done? And again, the, the dollar amounts doesn't matter at this point. Listen, whatever they agree to, $2 trillion, $3 trillion. They're going to have to do it again and before 2021 is over. Like I said, I think 2021, we broke the record this year for debt. There's a chance here that we could see it double. Double in 2021. So think about it. That would put, I don't know, national debt around $35 trillion dollars. Uh, earlier in the day, McConnell said Congress should aim for an agreement on items where there's little disagreement. But he said it's the Democrats' fault for blocking efforts on a spending package of $500 billion. <laughs> well, again, see, $500 billion would allow for the 20 million people not getting a paycheck to maybe... Uh, survive for a little longer. But it doesn't fix the forbearance problem. It doesn't fix the new round of shutdowns. Uh, I think Colorado, right? Colorado, oh, you only can eat outside. Well, they, you can't eat It's freezing outside. It doesn't fix the cities and the states' problems. 
And and again, I think this is where uh, all the rubber meets the, lo the, the the road here. They can delay it and delay it and delay it, but all is it's going to do is make the problem that much worse. And again, when it finally happens, this is when you're going to see the next big move in gold. Diamond has advocated higher taxes to pay for some of the stimulus. Taxing my, un my income a little bit more, that won't hurt growth, he said. Well, isn't that nice? I would love to see, wouldn't you love to see all these billionaires? Just write a check, Jamie. You can write a check. They all can. Write a check to the government. Here you go. Here's a billion dollars. Right? Step up. But again, the whatever tax law they come up with, there's always what? It offset a loophole. They've got the best tax. I loved it when they would hit. Remember they had hammered Trump about his taxes? How dare you? You're so successful. You didn't pay enough taxes. And he's like, all I did was follow the law. Right? Right, of course, they act like Donald Trump did his own. He doesn't do his taxes. He pays somebody to do his taxes. So I just find it, again, all, all this amusing. But I did find it funny that Jamie Dimon's out there uh, ripping Congress because he, quote, unquote, cares about Americans. That's not what it's about. He cares about the fact that his bank's in big trouble. He cares about the fact, and he should. I mean, he's the CEO, so I guess I shouldn't fault him for that. And now we're seeing, and let's hope it doesn't continue, right? I mean, uh, but the news on, on jobless claims today, not good at all. And, and, and unfortunately, I think they're going to get worse because more states are starting to uh, restrict Everybody out there, Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Oh, sir. Yes, ma'am. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. The top pathologist. Well, I don't know. They're saying he's the top pathologist in Canada. Roger Hodgkinson told government officials in Alberta during a Zoom conference call that the current corona crisis is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the unsuspecting public. Uh, talking about uh, masks are totally worthless and useless, but you can't put that out there on social media. You'll, you'll get banned for that. I don't know. Uh, right on cue, New York City, uh, de Blasio now saying all indoor dining will be shut down. In the next week, how are they going to pay for this stuff? And again, I'm sitting there and I'm watching, you know, like today, you know, gold's down today. And, and they're, you know, their charts, you know, because, you know, gold actually broke to the upside. Where it was getting ready. Like I told you, because we were expecting a big run through the end of the year. Because I really thought, okay, the election's going to happen. Doesn't really matter, Biden or Trump. They're going to save Christmas with the stimulus package. And gold was headed that way. And then uh, we got that news a couple of Mondays ago about the uh, vaccines. Gold fell $100. And now, the, you know, these charters, oh, you know, gold's got to do this or that. Retested the 15 or 1850. Uh, silver retested the $23.5 that they did on that Monday. Have bounced off. And, it, 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 you know, charts are all well and good. Uh, and they're useful. But when you sit here and you look at what the the real things are, because everything's traded really by algorithms, right? So anything that said uh, vaccine success, right? The algorithm was already predetermined. They're going to sell this and do that. Uh, when gold focuses back in on the on the dollar, and let's understand this is really why you buy gold to hedge against. The dollar. And the dollar's at 92 and change. And is getting ready to take the next major leg down. And we've seen all the major banks. And I know you don't see it. Because why would you? But they release these little press releases and all these things. And I see them all. I get them all. I'm always 
reading something. And they're all saying the same thing. The dollar's got to go a lot lower. Has to. Right? Our, our federal funds rate is essentially zero. The Fed, the number two head of the Federal Reserve has told Congress, yeah, we probably need to be the new clearinghouse for the treasury markets. Right? Which means that the debt situation is getting worse. By the way, did you see the treasury holdings by foreign governments? Man, fell off a cliff. China keeps dumping them little by little. They, you know, they're smart. They're not dumping. You know, they didn't do the Russia thing because that would have really upended the apple cart. They just keep decreasing their holdings and decreasing their holdings and decreasing their holdings. And the dealers that used to, you know, that used to be a great gig. Oh, where are my companies? One of the dealers for the U.S. Treasury auction. It's like getting free money. And then all of a sudden, they started getting stuck with all these treasuries. Because part of the deal was, hey, whatever isn't sold, yeah, you get to have it. Those are those are for you. And it very, you know, it would rarely be very much. And a lot of these banks. Uh, that were uh, part of the clearinghouse, they needed to buy some treasuries anyway, you know, with the new capital rules. The problem that's happened now is they're buying way more treasuries than they can handle, which just means the central bank's balance sheet, there is no way around it. It is going to get significantly bigger. Now, you go back to 06, the Fed's balance sheet wasn't even a trillion dollars, $700 billion. And I think by the end of 2022, we could see a central bank balance sheet of $20 trillion. So you kind of do, you're doing some quick math here. And you're like, what? We're going to be adding... $22 trillion to the Fed's balance sheet in a 16-year period? Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, think about the national debt. What's the national debt in 06? Like $6 trillion? Maybe seven, Something like that. <laughs> By 2022, it's probably going to be $40. $40 trillion. And you got to understand the amount of debt creation that really is it's a, it's massive 34 trillion dollars of national debt created right 22 trillion dollars of federal reserve balance sheet debt created right and you're like you start to add it up you're not even talking about the states and, and, and the mortgage debt. By the way, mortgage debt, $10 trillion now for mortgage debt here in the U.S. And you're like, whoa. When you think about our, our economy is $20 trillion. And you're like, that's $60 trillion of debt plus, plus, plus being created. That's that's the end, right? That's the, the last of the bubble, which all these debt markets trade on. What do you think happens to Wall Street when the treasury market blows up? I mean, do you honestly think that we're going to have rates stay this low forever? I mean, you, you, I know that's what they're hoping for, forever. Eventually, what happens? Nobody wants it. And, and then they're like, well, we got to raise the rate to get somebody to want it. Well, what happens if we give you 2%? Still don't want it. 4%, 5%, 10%, 20%. .000. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it now. I mean, at 10%, you'd probably get a few takers. <laughs> the problem is, at 10%, 
uh, the the national debt goes up by ten trillion dollars. You know, so so you're you're damned if you do, damned if you you don't. Uh, they're absolutely in. There's you know they say, hey, there's no way out. Oh, there's a way out. And the way out is to get rid of the dollar, and that's exactly what's going to happen. It's not because I say so, because that's what they do with fiat money. Hey, look at the euro. They crumpled up all their old stuff, came out with the euro. Now, really, it's the same with the dollar. The electronic currency is coming, and it's coming a lot sooner than you think. And you better have your gold put away before it happens. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back. 800 I'd love it to be rich. Wouldn't that be great? No problem. And, and you know, we... Eric was say, always used to say you need to have an ounce for every an ounce of gold put away for every year you're alive, and and uh, it's a hard thing for most of us to be able to do. But have you ever heard of John Malone? I know for a lot of people on the front range, I'm sure this name means quite a bit to you. For the rest of you, maybe not. You know, not all the billionaires out there are Bill Gates and and uh, Bezos and Zuckerberg and now uh, Elon Musk, right? Warren Buffett. John Malone is the largest landowner in America. Uh, most of his land, uh, Maine, Colorado, Wyoming, and New Mexico. Uh, which the West uh, makes a lot of sense. He is uh, by far uh, the largest landowner uh, and I believe is also the largest owner of cattle uh, in the world. Uh, he actually gave an interview uh, with David Faber on CNBC. And he was talking about what's coming. Okay, forget about the election. And I know that hurts us. I mean, it does, right? We uh, Was it a fair election? No. No, it wasn't. Uh, does it appear anyway that, that Trump is not going to be the president? That's what it appears to be. We're going to have to live with it. But again, it really didn't matter. What's coming next? Here's what Malone had to say about what's next. We survived this pandemic because of an enormous fiscal and monetary stimulus right, debt. I've got to believe this will lead to devaluation of currencies, that hard assets will increase in value in currency terms. And really, that's all gold does. The dollar gets weaker, gold gets more expensive. That's all it is. The, the ounce of gold didn't change. It was the value of the dollar that changes. And this is what Malone is saying. I'm not sure I'm going to call this inflation. Right? Our textbook definition of what is inflation. But it looks like, and I feel, but it looks like and feels like, inflation he says that we're already being realized as while the dollar appears stable and there's a quotes on appears it's fiat peers which is an illusion since they're all debasing together the dollar's values versus hard assets, talking about gold, has plunged and, and it all decoupled when the Fed went all in after the 2018 stock market crash. Of course, he talked about, hey, gold went to 1900, went all the way back to 1000, and they quote unquote fixed it all. No. They didn't. They wanted you to believe they fixed it. Then the stock market crashed again, right? And it wasn't because of COVID, right? Remember, people already forget that crash. 
And, and he said that, that in response to all this, who's already the largest landowner in the country, I've been trying to invest or diversify into hard assets. You know, I think things I've bought this year, I've bought substantial interest in multifamily housing, right? So he's a huge apartment owner, right? Which makes sense, right? Think about this. America quickly turning into a nation of, of renters. I've bought irrigated farms. And because uh, commodities were cheap, and farms were at a low cycle. So remember at the height of the trade war, right? Remember all the farmers were needing bailouts and whatnot. See, nobody talks about this stuff. Billionaires are in there buying it all up. They bought it all up. You don't notice because the next season you see crops out there. You just assume, oh, he must, uh, the guy survived. No, he didn't. The guy who already owns more land in America than anybody else gobbled up a bunch more. And he said that he always wanted to have some irrigated farming, so now I'm growing potatoes, right, to go along with all of his cattle. And, and this, is, this is where you want to be, right? Owning some land, land's great, certain kinds, right? Uh is owning, uh, you know, your your paper stamp lot, you know, your your postage stamp lot up in Anthem, Arizona. What we're talking about? No, that's not what this guy's talking about. It's about farmland, and I bought it real, real cheap because the commodity cycle was super, super low. Right? And then he talked about gold. You know, they hit gold. But now that's done. That ended with the huge bailouts in 2018. And, and of course, he's talking about the Treasury market, right? The central bank all of a sudden they had to reverse course and start buying. They haven't stopped. Matter of fact, Jay Powell just came out uh, the other day and said, yeah, we, we, we got to continue these quote unquote emergency programs. I don't know if you remember, like October 2018, they told us there was going to just be a couple weeks. It's already been a couple years with no end in sight. Patriot Radio News Hour, final segment coming up. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Buying huge amounts of land. That'd be great, right? Uh, and of course, you got to buy them in states where you can grow stuff, right? Arizona's probably not one of those, uh, but uh, that's a pretty expensive proposition. Uh, but but talking about commodities, gold obviously being the big one in that, we're at this low cycle, really relative to what we've seen. And again, there's going to be the move. We know this. Everybody knows this. John Malone knows this. Uh, I, w I didn't have a special day. I wasn't planning on it. And then right during the break, uh, one of my Hail Mary calls responded to me. I've got 50. I wish I had more. Listen, supplies are really limited. It's weird. You know, we've had this big pullback, and, and you would think that we'd have more than we do. We just don't. Uh, but I've got 50 $10 liberties. $10 liberty uh, you know, these are the half ounce, the older ones, 1866 to 1907. But uh, he heated up the price for me. This is probably about these, maybe the third largest wholesaler in the world. I'm going to heat it up for everybody. I've got, I only have 50 of them. I'm going to do them at 1,035. Which means if you bought two tens, it'll be two thousand and seventy, and that's thirty dollars less than the cheapest twenty I have. And you think about you know gold's down today, uh, fifteen bucks, uh, eight eighteen sixty right now. 
Uh, silver is right around $24. The Dow is down again today. Dow was down big yesterday, down again today. I think the Dow is going to stay under pressure until somebody starts getting serious about stimulus. Uh, and that's when gold's going to take its next move. Uh, buy this dip, take advantage. Hey, this is a great opportunity uh, to own some fractional gold. And we know this. Every once in a while, right, you can buy the 10s for the same price as a 20. Uh, sometimes you can save 5 or $10. A couple of times you've been able to save 20 This one's saving 30 That's that's rarely, you know, that that's unusual. Like I said, it's not unusual. Hey, you buy two tens for the price of a twenty or two tens. I put them on sale. Maybe it's five or ten dollars less than a twenty. Thirty dollar two tens, thirty dollars less than a twenty, and the twenties are down twenty five dollars from yesterday. Well, this is a big savings today. Uh, Fifty of them at eight hundred nine five one. 0592. These are the old pre 33 US minted gold. Sell them with a phone call. It's easy, it's simple. Uh, the best thing is how portable they are. Uh, and it and it's it's something where uh, no matter you know whether you know a lot of you out there know you know the fires and stuff, you know, you don't have a lot of time to pack up and get out. Right, and you're 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 saving your animals. You're getting your kids ready. The last thing you want to do is lug around 500 pounds of silver. Gold's a great way to go, and you throw it in the wife's purse, and you're out the door. Ten dollar liberties at a thousand thirty five today at eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Everybody, take care. God bless. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>